Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 28 of my Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity. Okay, you watched last episode, basically we just searched this area. You know, we visited some of these in the past life by touching the past souls, apparently. Can't get in there. Find a nice little doggy who was like, my, my, my master's coming home, so come with me, and he's now happy. And we're about to enter this down here, see what it is, a little... Let's go. All attacks are resisted by one of the four defenses, deflection, fortune, reflect, or will. If an enemy is powered against one side, try to attack the target as a different defense. Alrighty. Oh. This is kind of outside. Oh, it is. So basically, it's just another way out. Okay, so I came in this way. This is a different way out. Hmm. Hello? Been thinking about joining family over in Dravwood. They have it far better than us. Okay, did I do everything I need to do in this then? I go back and have a look. I think we don't we need to do here now. Is everybody um Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is everybody got a stuff I think they're all full. Yeah, can we all rested. Ready when you are. We should, you know, sort of picture out crooked. Oh, oh, we didn't go in here. Oops, I missed the room. Who's ever came back in? In guest. Hello. Please leave me be. I'm full of sickness with what I have been. I've seen this place at what? I'm from. Oh, it's seen different stuff. Okay. I'm from Rivergun True. No, no. Oh, she's seen a lot. Probably less. Not now. Less chance of him stringing up. Oh, that must be someone else. Please, there is. Please let me be. I'm full to sickness with what I have seen of this place. And there's purple. I am from Recris. True, but if I followed the scattered god yet, would I not have remained there with my family? You want to get your wow tits lobbed off, defending some lord's keep? You go right on ahead. Gods, to think I came all this way. Okay, can I take anything from here or she get all annoyed? Ah! Ten years of dawn. Ten years I tilted the vowels leaf and ten years I told myself that living in St. Wyrin's footsteps would bring me rebirth. Each dawn I pray that if thou art in darkness he shall bring thee light and each yet each night would bring the same emptiness. For my decade of living as a simple die farmer, all I have to show for it is a great deal of purple clothing. Elephant has not spoken to us since he appeared at St. Warwin. It was my hope that Ephraim would claim me as his next vessel, but alas, the child of light remained silent. Every day I practiced the ritual of bashing the shadows of the unfaithful, and every day I work my fields in solitude without sign of Ephraim's returning. If thou art in darkness, he shall bring thee light. Uh, but how long must I remain lost in this long night of abandonment? Is this my punishment for keeping my faith a secret? Is Evers hiding from me until I shout my reverence? I think that is. For all to hear. Surely he must know that the Dreywoods now hate him and his followers. My countrymen are quick to blame all that was terrible about the Saints' War on those of us still faithful to Evers. Should they not be angry at the rearest soldiers? Do the Dreywoods? Uh, not realize that to dismiss the god of rebirth and redemption is to prevent all hope of healing. As I pen these words, I know that I must continue to tilt the dying leaf. I will awake each day with hope. If I are in darkness, the, he shall bring me light. Each day I will pray that the dawn star visits me, just as they visited state. Ward when in his field of vows, vows, yeah, will will they come to uh, us? Spot, will they come to me as they came to Saint Walwyn as a man and two women? L lum, lumin, was that luministic? Imperfect. I have no clue what word means. Luministic. I would say it means something similar to perfect, but why would you say it twice? Mm, well, that's must have been. I am told they come to 
precious new times. Precious. I am told many things, and I struggle to find the faith to be believed in at all. And yet, each morning the sun rises in the eastern sky, and each morning Ifrus illuminates my simple plot of land, casting away the shadow of the unfaithful in his golden gaze. I think thy the uh, evenings for all the springs. I thank sorry, I've had, and all that will come. I am in darkness. Please bring me light. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Okay, I guess I can get them stuff yet. Food items cannot be used in combat, but can provide bonuses over a long period of time. Yeah, I went and spot all these, didn't I, before? <laughs> There's nothing in this now, is there? No. Come on, little doggy. Okay, I don't think I went in here. Oh, drinks. Hello, you. Ah, it's you, my savior. He makes a sweeping gesture to indicate the kitchen around you. So good to be back. Huh? I is you my saviour, okay. And he, so I'm thinking, oh he's talking to me, but then he makes a sweeping gesture to indicate the kitchen around you. So the kitchen's a saviour. Okay. <laughs> Do not think I will let this go unrewarded. I have decided that you have earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets. My dearest recipe. Out of this, you eat nothing else. Okay. Ooh, gain the recipe, savoury pie. Savoury pie to keep you, you hale and healthy. May it serve you well in your travels. Okay, I must have saved it at some point. Yay, I don't remember saving you, but yay. Okay, there's something else in here we can do. Oh, just to see what that is. Spools hang by the fire, coated in brownish gunk. Okay. <clears throat> Let go of them. We've got us up a little bit of a party now. Party! We can start doing stuff, hopefully. Uh, is it Jade to bring my stuff up? With, uh, vision with a Find a dwarf woman from the dreams. We'll do that. Um, I'll escape the stranger, deadly wind. That tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Escape the ruins. Hopefully, I can find the road. The caravan has been ambushed by warriors and at least. Okay. A sudden sickness has come over. The caravan master has uh, urged me to make a remedy before my condition worsens. Yeah, am I over that now? So I was going out to get the stuff. <laughs> Girls Val is said to be one of the most oppressive villages. Reach the camp, find a and collect some spring remedy. Maybe I'm, I'm too sick. Oopsie. Ginger Gallon Valley. So I guess at the moment I'm looking for this woman. Oh, quests. So it's the temple I've done that. Oh yeah, I've done that. Find a man with a red cloak. Keeper of the Black Inn, I've done that. Late for dinner, the Black Hound Inn, yeah. The inn keeper as the Black Hound Inn was very grateful to you for helping getting Terraform back safe. Oh yeah, I did get back. She's promised me a discount on both food and lodgings in return. Okay. So we have the Blackhound Inn, Road West. Okay, that's the only thing that's highlighted. So I guess we're supposed to be doing something there. Buffin's house. Windmills. I guess we go around and look around. Go to the house, wasn't it? The tree. Hmm, that? Hmm, got some gathering stuff. So, Inland's up here. I wish you could move the map. Oh, you can with the mouse, but I mean with the 
uh, keypad, uh, the, the, the keyboard, sorry. Oh, so this is this is the class of basically what I've been. Is that right? Oh, no, so it's over here, okay. Oh, there. The man smiles broadly. Welcome to our lovely village. Okay. The, the squat, distended body of an elder dwarf woman dangles from a thin, crooked boat that sags at the, the tug of her noose. The bloated purple flesh of her neck, worn away in patches like moth eaten linen, bulges over the rope that suspends her, and her lifeless head lolls forward rigidly from one side to the other when the breeze shifts. You perceive a faint glow around her that casts no light on its surroundings. But there is a, a timid water, warmth to it, and you feel somehow that you could reach out and touch it, not with your hands, but with some aspect of yourself that has no word of dimension reach out for the woman. You take a deep breath, a clear in your mind, focusing on your objective as you exhale, ex exhale, <clears throat> basically breathe out, exhale, that's it. You feel yourself spreading out towards a hanging woman, perceiving all lies between you and her with new unfamiliar awareness. Once you have expanded enough to reach her, there is a sudden jolt to your mind, a ringing electronic, electric surge of images and words and sounds. Involuntarily, you shut your eyes and feel yourself being pulled down to some deeper consciousness in a space occupied only by you and the hanging woman and with you, with, uh, and when you open them again, she is staring at you with eyes clouded in a milky fog, her body still swaying in the wind. You no longer feel from a tree and stand planted in a misty void. The woman gives a slow nod of her head, the rope creaking as she does so, and she smiles at you. Have you come have here? You come oh, here take it. for me, dear, or have you gotten lost? Ah, it is both, I think. Her yes. eyes squint as she peers down at you. Imagine, am I imagining this? How are you able to speak to me? I need to understand something that's happened to me. I think I survived a bivouac. Do you know what that is? Okay, imagine this. No, I think not. Consider for a moment, that, that, yeah. It would be simpler. A mercy, even. Do not have to wander anymore, no? Alas, no, we are here, you and I, wherever here may be. The tongue clicks and she shakes her head and she said what she said. <laughs> How are you able to speak to me? Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. Okay. I think it is a very good choice. You understand something that happened to me. She nods, look at pity on her face, as real consoling a child. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. She nods. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and the watcher you will stay. What the watcher? <laughs> what indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair, and here we are visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Hmm. Souls pass on, some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. 
For all souls, there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on. And those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. Hmm. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their owner can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder. A wonder indeed. A wonder indeed. And in fact, we're going to find out what else she has to say in the next episode. So, why scrub that good stuff for you next week? Just have to tell you saying bye for now and have a great day, people. And let wonder what she says next time. Tune back in and you won't have to wonder no more. Bye, everyone.